Hello to film director Dushan Katsalika. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for your film and welcome to Hamburg Film Fest. I would like to start with the first question. Uh, this is your first feature film. What was important for you in bringing to the screen this specific story as your debut film? Well, uh, the idea uh, for this film came up uh, when I, while I was working on my short films, uh, because uh, before this uh, this project, I've done uh, two short films in Montenegro. One was uh, placed in a hotel. The other one was uh, uh, shot on the mountains in the north of Montenegro. So. Uh, if the audience have chance to to somewhere watch my short films, it will be clear that aesthetically, and with images and sounds, it's really the combination of my short films, uh, but in a more I I believe ambitious way in my feature films. So basically, uh, this was starting point, and uh, also uh, I was thinking about the usage of uh, language nowadays that we have either in, privately or in a public sphere, uh, political, uh, cultural sphere, etc., where people very often do not actually communicate, do not uh, exchange feelings, informations, etc., but rather choose just to present themselves and to present uh, their individualism. So this was uh, this usage of language language was interesting for me to to have it uh, in my screenplay screenplay in dialogues and in monologues that Philip had, and then I started to think uh, about uh, uh, ego of a man that is part of uh, middle class of Yugoslavia, uh, the part of society that once built this country that we are all proud of in this part of Europe, and then silently watched its own destruction without any uh, taking any action, but rather choose to live in uh, uh, romantic self-sufficiency. So the combination of the study of this character, the usage of language and the uh, images and sounds that I had on my mind uh, was starting point to, to, to start writing this uh, screenplay and to, to connect uh, Philip characters a character with uh, the world of fantasy, which is in this film is actually a free adaptation of famous Croatian fairy tale, Stribor's Forest. Philip, the main character, comes out on screen as epic, uh, someone who represents a generation. And I was wondering what can we learn about that generation in Yugoslavia um, from from the film and what did you want it uh, to deliver in, in this character, through this character? Well, this generation uh, is a uh, generation of my parents. It's a generation, uh, as I said, uh, Philip is uh, living in a very comfortable life. He has everything that he wants. He's good looking, well-educated, uh, can go on a holiday whenever he wants, etc. And uh, this uh, symbol of that generation uh, th uh, through Philip and also Katarina, I wanted to say about, uh, as I told you, uh, about the generation that didn't take any action in whatever was happening here uh, in Yugoslavia by, in the past 30 years, because as you all know, we had a terrible destruction of this country. We had a terrible war that we are still talking about. Uh, we have small countries uh, that are uh, in complicated economical and political situation for over 30 years. And I am part of generation that is always uh, being said, tomorrow is going to be better. Now we will, uh, everything is going to be fine, but I grew up and nothing is ever changing. And every idea of, uh, being better here in these old countries of former Yugoslavia is somehow a fairy tale. So for me, uh, this is, was all uh, important to incorporate in uh, Philip's character and to have him in a connection with the fantasy world. 
but when I was uh, writing my screenplay, uh, it was clear for me that uh, fantasy world will not be something original that I I will came up with, but I uh, explored our folk tales uh, and something that is very well known uh, from this region. But and then I uh, returned to the fairy tale Stribors Forest that is very well known in this part of uh, throughout Yugoslavia. And this fairy tale was important for me because it's unusual. Uh, we, it doesn't have strong dominant uh, hero that can fight with problems. Uh, he's just a fragile, naive boy who is uh, between mother that want to to save him and young serpent girl uh, that once was a snake that is a symbol of course of lust love etc so it was for me a good connection with the character of philip because philip is in a way is a very fragile made man even though he presents himself like the the that like uh, strong and like he know everything about every situation that he's in. Fernand Lasik is one of Yugoslavia's most known actors for decades. And I was wondering if you had him in mind for casting while writing the script and how was working with the actors on scenes that are surreal in dialogue that have, um, um, a fantasy intention in in them. I believe your audience doesn't know about Frano Lasic, but he's very well known uh, star from Yugoslavia period uh, here, uh, and he's one of the true and very beloved stars uh, from Yugoslavia, uh, and uh, he has this symb symbolic value uh, to to have him uh, on a film as well as Savina Gershak who plays his wife she is one of the most beautiful actresses from Yugoslavian era and she's very well known actually from for Montenegrin cinematography because she played she's not professional actress and she played in films by Živko Nikolic and she did she now lives in rome and she doesn't have any connection with acting so this is her first uh, role after 30 years so all of this was in a way important for me while i was doing casting and uh, working with them was uh, really a pleasure i uh, they they uh, were committed uh, to 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 these roles in a way that uh, they we talked a lot uh, and uh, they really was part of the atmosphere because like Hotel in a way is a character of the film. So it was very specific uh, in a way of framing and how they talk because I don't know for people who doesn't speak our language but they speak in a very specific way uh, and it's, uh, it has a certain absurdity uh, and it has uh, certain humor in a style that they speak uh, because uh, I, I wanted them to, to, to uh, talk like they have, they doesn't have anything else to say to each other, but in a way you want them to, to say one more thing. <laughs> this was like uh, our agenda. And for the fairy tale part, while, while I was writing the script, I uh, read also uh, fairy tales from the 19th century from all Slavic cultures, Russia, Ukraine, etc. And I discovered, for example, fairy tales of uh, Nikolai Gogol. Uh, and while he was writing his uh, fairy tales, uh, fantastic creatures, for example, like Devil, came up all of a sudden and they start talking spontaneously without any introduction. There is no like, oh, he, this is a devil, he's a fantastic creature and so on. Uh, so they are talking like the very realistic uh, and like they are real creatures. And this was something that was interesting for me to have this as well in a film. The film resonates with uh, literature, and cinema that deal with uh, uh, sanatorium and spa and hotels and healing process. Um, 
And I was wondering what are your influences um, from cinema that deal with those narratives? Uh, well, for me, uh, Hotel, as I said, was one of the characters of the film because it's a really famous, brutalistic building. Uh, very well known for its socialist style. And these kind of buildings we have all over Yugoslavia. For example, in Belgrade, we have a famous Savat Center that was famous Congress Center from Yugoslavia. And uh, what is interesting about these buildings, uh, they are really a masterpiece of architecture. And they say something about the society that once Yugoslavia was like, uh, the potential of this society and nowadays uh, they uh, lose uh, their uh, the usage value they just in a way are monuments of this society and uh, they are starting to be part of the public place that is very that is not good that is very ruined by the new architecture, etc. Like in a way that Philip is isolated from from uh, the, the the rest of the world, and it's he's not able to communicate and to connect with other people and to exchange emotions or information. So in a way, this was uh, one starting point, and the other is I believe when people go to a, a holiday and to go to uh, or start being tourists. Uh, we actually escape from our own life for a couple of days. We live some something that is a dream, a simulation of something that we want to be like. Everyone, when I believe, when we go on the in the south of Italy, we all start being part of Rossellini's film or something, something like that. We try to pretend, or we go to a skiing in Alps. We are all in a, some <laughs> fairy tale of our own. And this was uh, important for me to have this kind of setting to bring uh, to perfect people who seems that they don't have any kind of problem in a, a monotonous atmosphere of a hotel spa where everything seems so slow, so smooth, so 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 gentle. And uh, actually, uh, very soon we will see that nothing is good in this atmosphere and that their marriage is collapsing and actually ending. And what is interesting in all of this, that is Philip is not reacting, uh, not trying to solve the problem, to, to be part of the problem, but he rather choose to escape from it and to just to go into his own monologues and into his own fascinations. It, this was like ideas for, for the, the part with the hotel. Dushan Katsalika, thank you so much for this talk and for your film. See you next time in Hamburg. Thank you for inviting the film to the festival and to having the chance to talk about the film.